Hey everybody, my name is Heather Taylor. I am a director with Pharmacy. So make sure that you hit subscribe, check out my Facebook, and see all the good things that I have to offer. So I was asked the other day kind of what my go-to products were and if I had a video for them, and I realized that I didn't. So here we are making it happen. So the first product that I'm going to start off with is our VFX Pro Camera Ready Primer, okay? So this one is, we offer two. This is our silicone based one. We also offer a cream, a strobe primer. So we're going to call this my Pharmacy 5, my five go-tos products that I tend to wear a lot of or just, you know, my basic everyday look. So with primer, we want to make sure we use primer because it's going to help even out our skin. Give us a good base. Um, kind of like where I have, I'm having some breakouts. I used a product that didn't agree with my skin. So when I use primer, it's going to kind of help smooth out that area. If you have large pores, it's going to help fill in those pores and give you a smoother surface to work off of. So I kind of make sure I get my main problem areas, then I'm kind of blend out. So for me, my nose, through my cheeks, and right along here at my mouth, and underneath my lip are my biggest issues. So I'm going to start here, and then I usually kind of bring it out. And you want to let your primer sit for just a minute. Let it dry, because if you don't, what happens is your primer and your foundation just mix and your primer really didn't do any of it of the things that you wanted to do. You didn't give it time to build that barrier. So we just give it just a second, let it dry a little bit, and then we can go in. So my second product is going to be my foundation that I use, I would say, nine out of ten times, which is our CC. So your CC is going to be your color corrector. So if you have melasma, you have redness, you just have overall discoloration, um, like you can see in here under my eyes where it's a little purple, then it's white, then I got my red, like it evens out all those things. So it has a lot of benefits. This is also a really good one um, that I will use underneath another foundation as just a concealer. So I will put on our light in it and then go on top of it with like a VFX or something like that to build up the coverage and help blur out anything I have going on, especially if I'm going, you know, something special is going on. So this is our light CC. I like to use a blend bud with our CC. To me, I feel like I get the best finish out of it. So I'm gonna take and put a little bit on the back of my hand, and I'm gonna dab into it, and then I'm just gonna start blending. And I always dab. People are like, it looks like you're beating up your face. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not beating up my face, I promise. But I feel like I get the best finish. I feel like I get a little more of a true matte finish when I do that. And it helps fill in better. Now, you can come in with a really light coat, keep it super natural with the CC, or you can actually come in and do a second coat and get a really, really heavier coverage. Now, I do say do it in coats. You'll get um, better results. So if you do two thinner coats, you'll get better results than if you just kind of glob it on one time. But you see how it just blends all your colors out, evens everything up, keeps everything smooth but natural. So it's definitely a go-to for me. You're going to find me wearing this if I'm in town running errands, going to Walmart, running the grocery store. Or even if I am at church, date night, like this to me has so many possibilities. And then where I have issues like through here, and you just see that I use just a little bit more. But you get a really nice finish. 
it blends nicely. You can use a brush, you can even use your fingers, but I like the blend and bud. And usually I'm a brush girl, so for me to say use a blend and bud, <laughs> I'm being serious. Okay, so product number three is actually going to be our pressed powder. So anytime you use a liquid on your face, you want to set it. Now, here is the um, budget-friendly girl in me, okay? I love a good translucent setting powder, right? I love one. So, but, but our pressed powder is actually $2 cheaper. So I take advantage of saving $2 and I get a tinted powder. So it's going to give me a little extra coverage and still set my makeup. So this one is number 01 in cool white. And I just dusted on. You can use this as an actual foundation. But I like to use it just to set everything. Finish blending everything out. And add that little extra bump of color, of coverage. So you just lightly, I'm just dusting it on. Bring everything down your neck. All right. Ta -da! Okay, so that's three of my five. All right, number four is going to be my brow. Okay, it's going to be my brow. So I prefer a brow powder. Personal preference all the way, whether you want a pencil, a powder, a pomade, whatever you want. I like the brow powder. So this is the um, light brown. I personally like a darker brow. So if you're blonde, you may want to actually get the blonde. And I just, all I do is follow along with what I already have. And just kind of fill it in. I'm just starting to lose a little bit. And I actually need to wax my eyebrows. When it comes to doing your eyebrows, when you kind of keep them kept, <laughs> they're easier to do than if they're kind of out of control. But just filling in your eyebrows can be an almost like an instant facelift. It adds a little more of a finish to your makeup. I'm not a brow professional by no means. But it just kind of gives your face a little more of a pop, a little more oomph. You just want to make sure that when you're doing them, you are you have a brush that's really, really fine. If you use a chunkier brush, you're going to end up with chunky eyebrows. So when you have a smaller, finer brush, you have more control over where everything is going. And you just want them to look like sisters. They're not going to be identical. They just need to kind of be in the same ballpark. <laughs> All right. Last product is our matte liquid lipsticks. These lipsticks are my absolute favorite. These are one of the favorite products that I have out of everything that pharmacy offers. Here's why. Number one, they dry, they're matte, and they don't transfer, okay? I literally can put my lipstick on at 6.30 in the morning, drink my coffee, eat my breakfast, even eat lunch, and my lipstick will still be in place. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to do touch-ups. So, this is one of my favorite colors. It's very natural pinky. This is actually called mauve pink. It goes with everything. It pretty much looks good on anybody. 
it's just a basic color. It's a good nude pink to have in your arsenal. Okay, so there you go. So there's your five. We have our VFX primer, CC cream, pressed powder, brows, and our mauve pink, really any shade, matte liquid lipstick. All five of those. You can actually get all five products for $68. So for way less than $100, you can get a base face. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you I'm a blush whore. Okay? Is what it is. I enjoy my blush. So if you really want to kind of finish off the look, one of my favorite blushes that we offer is called Modern Ballet. It's very pretty. It's very subtle. It's not in your face, but it adds a little color back. It is one of my favorites, especially if I'm going for a very natural look, but I don't want to have just this blank canvas, right? So when we add our foundation and we just have that one sheet of color, it's very blank. It's very bland. So if we pop in just a little bit of blush, it just brings some color back into our face. A little bit of color never hurt nobody. Uh, Modern Ballet is the, one of my favorites and I really like Fresh Peach. That's one of my favorites too. It is not a pink, so it is more of a peachy tone to it if you're not a pink girl. Some people just are not into the pinks and that's cool. So if you wanted to add in the blush and turn your Pharmacy 5 to the Pharmacy 6, it actually brings your total to $78. So still under $100, you've got a complete face face. So it can be it. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video. Make sure you hit subscribe. And as always, you can purchase any of the products that I just showed you at heathertaylormakeup.com.